what's up everybody? It's January 6, 2023, and the snow, we're starting to get some snow flurries now. It's a, quite a few hours earlier than they anticipated, but I'll take it. It's uh, 9.52 p.m. It wasn't supposed to start at all till after midnight, but we're gonna go capture this little bit right now. And yeah. Super excited. Yay. This might not be much for this video, but you never know. We'll see. We'll see. No matter what, I'll be up at at least two or three during the middle of the heaviest part of this system. You know what? We're gonna go up to the go up to Snow Summit real quick. Let me just take a nice brief look at what's going on up there. Let me clear off the windshield. Oh yeah. I can't wait till we start getting some really good storms though, you guys. And I guarantee you by the look of that, it's definitely snowing at Snow Summit. And it's just right down the street. It's not gonna be heavy, but you're gonna be able to see it a lot better than, than these uh, small snowflakes that we're seeing right now. As soon as the light turns green, we can go. There we go. Thanks, light, for listening. So I'm gonna, what's this guy doing? Just sitting right there. Oh, no, that's not a guy, that's a tree. I thought that was a dude sitting there, but it's just a small tree. As you can see, straight ahead, looks a little ominous, doesn't it? It's super windy. This is the windiest we've, we've been all winter time or all snow season, I should say, because winter just started two weeks ago. So all snow season, this is the snowiest, it's, or windiest it's been. Wait till you guys see this this time lapse. That, that, that little thing that spins right out front of the camera, that thing is spinning like crazy right now. So that's cool, but yeah, look at this. Oh, I, I just love, I love being here. Yep, here come the snowflakes. Obviously, they're they're making snow as well, but yeah, this is this is beautiful. Oh man, I'm probably gonna get harassed for being here, but that's okay. It's worth it. I'm not gonna get out, but you can definitely see some flakes, and I'm sure some of it is from those snow machines. But if you look at the headlight the headlights you can see some snowflakes as i said guys i will always capture the first snowfall the first snowflakes oh yeah these snow machines are blowing like champs you gotta love this place this is the lifeblood of this town you guys right here this is what gives us life Can't wait to do some skiing videos. I, I finally got my, my season pass. Ordered it like a month ago or something like that. And uh, it still hadn't come in the mail. So I went to the, the resort today and had them printed out and it, it took them 60 seconds. It was, it was just so, so quick. So we got that handled, which I'm very happy to inform you guys that we will be starting to do some skiing videos this season it's just tough because of my regular job it's so hard to take take any time at least during the hours where you can go skiing of course we can go night skiing but i don't want to go night skiing i want to go skiing during during the day so we can see all the beautiful views from up top I'd like to stay in those condos. If any of you who watch this own right there, please let me know because I'd be willing to uh, to rent it out for a, a few weekdays for my wife and myself. That would be great. I'll do a little video for you guys. But yeah, look at the sky. Woo! It looks awesome. It looks awesome. 
So we're gonna kind of head over towards the snowier part of town right now and see if we can run into a little more snow flurries. song stuck in my head it is such a good song you guys got to check it out it's uh by some dude named dax it's called to be a man and darius rucker is in the song also it is such a touching beautiful song man it had me in tears because i i felt just like it it's it's, it's a beautiful song to be a man from uh, dax featuring uh darius rucker as well Check it out. I promise you will not be disappointed. Check out the YouTube video. Don't forget, guys, we have that, that giveaway, so make sure you go to my Instagram page. I'll put all the information in the description and comment section of this video. Check the comment section first. Um, I'll have the comment pinned, so it should be at the top. And you just got to go to my Instagram, get the instructions to win your free Airbnb stay. And uh, there's a second and third place prize as well. The second place is gonna be one of our really nice hoodies. And the third place, I believe, is like 50 bucks on like a Visa or MasterCard gift card for you guys. So I really hope uh, you guys check it out. I wish I could have everybody win. Whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on here? Well, there's a lot of, a lot of police over there. They must have got something bad at Taco Bell. I, hey, I understand. I've wanted to call the cops on some of these fast food joints as, as well. So I totally get it. Cops food probably wasn't cooked right. Again, I understand. I'd be upset too. But all joking aside, I hope everything's okay. Those are some of our town's heroes right there. Putting themselves in harm's way all the time. And uh, just not getting the respect they deserve as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, we're going to go through the village. I like going through the village. Oh no, these people pushed, these people over here, they pushed the button. So if this thing turns green, oh, we made it first. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Again, guys, sometimes these videos won't be full of snow, but as I said, I am out here to record the first snowflakes and then start recording the rest of the storm. But we're not done with this yet. We're gonna drive a little bit further into the snowiest part of town cut back across Edgemore to head down to the lake and then drive along the lake for a few minutes but at least I got some snowflakes to get us started and again uh, I'm gonna be out there probably out here at 1 or 2 in the morning to record so the next upload probably won't be till 3 or 4 another sleepless night in Big Bear but that's okay I am so happy doing this, you guys. You have no idea. Well, I'm sure you have an idea. But I love doing this. And you guys make me smile. You guys make me so happy. The comments are so beautiful. The love is second to none. SUVs look so awesome. All right, guys, when it comes to hotels here, this is my favorite by far, right here on the left hand side. Right here on the left, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, it's here on the left hand side. 
It's called the Lodge at Big Bear Lake. It's a, or, or no, the club at Big Bear Lake. Oh my gosh, I always say the lodge. It's the club. And it's from Blue Green Resorts. It's our only four star or greater resort in town. I love it. As you all know, I, I come from Newport Beach. Long story short, parents came from nothing and uh, you know they wanted to have as good of life as they could so they worked their butts off and they they uh, like where I grew up it was so beautiful just such a beautiful place and really nice hotels everywhere and nice houses and, um, so I like staying in nicer places when I can afford it the reason we've only stayed there once is because uh, can't afford it in the winter time for the room that we want that we got there it's about about a thousand a night but when we stayed there during the most dead time of the year, I think we paid just under 300 a night. So we stayed for a couple nights just to get that experience and to show you guys. I'm trying to stay in every hotel up here to put in the lodging videos for you guys so you guys know what to expect before you actually get to where your destination is. This is a sledding and roller coaster area. Oh yeah. Alright, once we get around this corner, start going straight, we're entering the snowier part of Big Bear Valley. Here we go. We're not going to be going way too far up here. Just enough for me to see what's going on over here. be discouraged folks I am here to the rescue I will not stop I will find you the snow it just might not be during this video all right so we're coming up to Edgemore Street we're gonna turn right on Edgemore and this guy needs to, to get off my butt or I'm gonna have to show him my train horn train horn I have you guys is ridiculous and I get in trouble for it up here when it's not even me so when I first moved up here on the original car that I had when I came up here I had a really nice train horn on there and I was the only one that I know of that had a train horn and after this channel's grown all of a sudden more and more people up here have train horns and then I'll, I'll get texts from friends and stuff at midnight Hey, dude, I just heard you driving by. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm in bed. What are you talking about? So I get blamed for these train horn blasts. And it's not even me. I don't do it at nighttime. And I won't do it around elderly people. And I, I won't surprise people. The main thing that I use it for is with really bad drivers and driving up and down the mountain. If someone won't turn out at the turnouts and just don't care about what's going on back of them, I, I'll, I'll give so many chances to like three or four different turnouts to just turn, like let the faster traffic pass. <laughs> and I'll honk my regular horn first, just like a quick beep beep, a quick flash of the brights. So just, hey, can you please consider moving over and letting us go by? Because there's a long line of traffic behind me too that wants to go by. And uh, if they still don't heed that warning, then I have to break out the big guns. And I blast the train horn real quick, and they pull over instantaneously. But I don't, I don't have to do that much. And guys, as, as I said in that thank you video to Glenn earlier, when I first moved up here, I had so little patience for drivers. Um, I just wanted to get to my destination and if people were going slow, I would just drive around them. And you guys are the ones who gave me so much grief about that, but in a very constructive way. So it taught me uh, good lessons. I can definitely take constructive criticism as long as it's constructive. And I heed your advice always, you guys, I really do. But if it's someone being mean about it, it goes in, the, in, in one ear out the other. But the constructive 
criticism I receive is so helpful from you guys, and it really has changed me and who I am as a man. You guys have done that for me, so thank you. I really don't know where I would be as a human these days without you guys. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I am the luckiest guy in the world. Alright, so we're coming up here to uh, Lakeview. We're on Lakeview right now, but it also, you have to turn right here to stay on Lakeview. And then this will take us all the way to the boulevard. We're staying at a hotel in, in a couple days another one. I still didn't even get to post the last hotel's video because we've had other videos to post. So I didn't want to waste that video by like posting it right before I post one of these snow videos. So you'll be seeing uh, the uh, sleepy forest, I believe is where we stayed last time. And this next one, we're staying at a place called Sessions. And I'm excited about it. And then a couple weeks later, I think we're staying, uh, can't remember the name, but we're staying somewhere else for a couple nights. We stayed four nights at that Sleepy Hollow, or, or that, yeah, the Sleepy Forest place, and we're staying three nights at Sessions. And I think we're gonna do f three or four more nights at a different place that we haven't stayed at either. Because I like to put these new places, as I said, on the videos for you guys, so you can see what, what we have to offer up here see an actual video of the rooms and the property instead of just the best pictures that these these spots can take that make it look so much different and then you show up and you're like what <laughs> what again I just want you guys to have the best possible time while you're here you guys have a good time I get to keep living here that's that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. And being in these mountains brings back the best memories of my childhood. From the ages of 10 until 15 years old. The best memories ever. All right, we're back out here to the boulevard. We're going to turn left and head back. Just wanted to give you guys a short little update here. You guys can see how fast these clouds are moving. Just hauling some serious butt. It's another great thing about living way up on the mountain is you get to see these awesome clouds rolling so quickly and we're starting to get some some more snowflakes right now so my MMA friends here who do you think's gonna win between Strickland and Duplicis Duplicis Drykus Duplicis that guy's a monster. That guy is a South African monster. I hope Sean wins just because of Sean's story, but at the same time, Drykus seems like a darn good fighter. The, the guy's, he's finished, I think, five of his six uh, uh, UFC fights. He's never lost in the UFC. And an organization who I watch all the time also since there's no more pride and no more WEC and 
um, stuff, stuff like that is one fighting championships. I think they're going to eventually be bigger than the UFC. I really do. Eventually, someday. Anyway, someone's honking at us. I think they know who we are. I think that's why we're, we're being honked at. And, and I get really, really embarrassed about that because I feel like such a dork holding my camera and recording. Seriously. I really do. I'm really nervous for them to pull up alongside of us. Okay, here's the police activity again. I, I, like seriously, what's going on there? I wonder what's going on. And those of you who are still watching, don't forget to go to Get Boards to get your ski rentals. And you can order your lift ticket online at getboards.com. Um, also, they will, for your own personal stuff, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free as long as you mention me and this channel. And again, I always have to toss it in there. Um, the owner's name is Tony. So if someone, a, a new employee or someone doesn't know about it, I'm sure they're all perfectly up to date on it. But if you get any grief about it, just make sure you uh, mention Tony's name and uh, I promise you will get taken care of. We, we had one, one issue where someone went in. There's been a lot of people that have gone in, but um, at the very start where the employee didn't, didn't know and Tony wasn't there. So we got that all figured out. I don't want you guys to stress about it, but I want you to get your skis and snowboards waxed for free. the only way to do it and again if you buy equipment there I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure they'll take a little a little bit extra off I can't promise you that but you never know your rentals will be significantly cheaper there than they would be at the mountain and it's really high high-end equipment as well they got really, really, really good stuff, you guys. And Get Boards is, is is one of the most reputable spots up here. They have a few different locations here on Big Bear Boulevard. It really doesn't get much better than Get Boards. I'm very proud to be affiliated with them now and proud to promote them. That's going to be in the comment section as well about how to what they'll do for you and there will be a link there for you to click on as well to go directly to get boards okay we're going to drive through fox farm to cap this and yes we are getting a few snowflakes still this is wunderbar wunderbar I care about the copyright thing. I don't want to steal music, use other people's music without explicit, explicit permission. I, that did not come out right. <laughs> um, but a, a lot of music that I used to play for my videos many years ago, a lot of it, when the video would be done up uploading, it wouldn't, YouTube wouldn't allow the video to be published because it said that the owner of that music doesn't want the music being played anywhere other than, you know, who they have, uh, have, have contracts with and stuff like that. So I don't want the video to be blocked. But again, it's uh, uh, To Be A Man, I believe is the name of the song, from Dax and Darius Rucker. I promise you guys, if you guys want to hear something uplifting yet it's really sad and inspiring it's just uh i don't know 
that song hit the nail on the head for how I feel so much of the time. So if you guys want to know how I feel inside a lot, even though I try to tell you guys, watch that three minute music video. It's just fantastic. Okay, we're on Fox Farm Road. It's about to change into McAllister. As soon as we make this little right hand turn up here, this little curve here, it goes from right here, Fox Farm Road, and now this is McAllister. The way I always remember McAllister, you guys, is from the movie Home Alone. Whenever I'm on this road, I think Kevin McAllister. I was like 10 or 11 years old when that movie came out, and it was like amazing, amazing back then. I still like it today a lot because it brings out that, that child in me. This is our new roundabout system that got installed a year ago this last October. So it's it's been in for almost, a, or maybe November, it's been in for almost a year and a half. I'm not a big fan. It's really too bright right here also. I feel bad for some of these homes. It's like day, it's like daytime all day. lights with the Christmas stuff do look pretty. We're not going to take the second roundabout. We're going to keep going straight to Bear Mountain.
car coming up to Bear Mountain. You can see the snow cats way up top. Those two lights right in the center. And even way up there on the right. Oh, it's just so cool, guys. I am so happy. I love this. Get some snow inside the car right now, so the floors are still but it's a little bit, it's something. Simply marvelous, just simply marvelous. Well, anyway, thank you guys again for joining me as usual. Um, they all can't be amazing videos, but I do the best I can. Mother Nature is who I have to give all my credit to whenever something good happens for me up here. So, and I just try to share her beauty and I hope I do a good enough job for you guys. It is tiring, it's so worth it though. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. We're gonna be ending shortly, don't forget BigBearWeatherAndMore.com for your merchandise. We just launched some new merchandise, some new hoodies, new shirts, new mugs and stuff uh, with the Calm Before the Storm, one of my famous uh, famous videos, Calm Before the Storm. So grab those. Those have been selling quickly, which is great. And oh, super important, guys, because it's print on demand, they don't have anything sitting in a back room to exchange so you must order the the proper size it's really really important you must order the proper size we're going to be putting some more disclaimers on the website just just so it's 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 perfectly in view so there's no issues look i understand i understand that we can sometimes order the wrong size accidentally and you know what like i've always always been able to exchange things everywhere that I've bought stuff but I've never bought from print on demand companies or you know uh, so I, I I just I didn't realize that we can't do any exchanges again it, the only reason is because they don't have anything sitting back there to send you if you order a large and you need it in XL the shirt has to be made again so that's that's why there's no exchanges obviously if if the stuff is damaged that's the only way that they'll do exchanges for you guys um, so please 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 forgive me for that we uh, we had a, another customer who wanted to exchange the XL for his two XL shirts for larges and I'm gonna go ahead and and eat that because I want you guys to be happy I don't want to say no to you guys like like I, I want you guys to be happy and I want you guys to be proud to be here. So I'm gonna go ahead and exchange that for the dude. And then I'm just gonna keep his two shirts because that's the, that's the size I wear. So hey, I'll just add two more to my repertoire. Um, so I always have some Big Bear Weather and More stuff to wear every day of the month. <laughs> but yeah, so really important guys, don't forget that. You, you must order the size that you need um, because we're not going to be able to do any more you know exchanges after this I mean don't you know let us know what happens because I want to make sure that I'm at least aware but everything is sized exactly how it should be you know how some companies if you order XL it'll say well if you wear you know XL shirts then in our shirt you should order in XXL ours are exactly as they're supposed to be so um, yeah hope you guys understand that and again I do apologize that we don't have any way to exchange stuff and uh, last but not least ski warrior goggles have sponsored this channel and ski warrior goggles are smart goggles they are insane you guys they've got walkie-talkie features you can listen to music, make phone calls, 
on on the screen on the side of them it shows you what the weather is like in in color it's a picture it's freaking amazing like these things are amazing they have about a two mile radius um it's got over 25 channels you can literally probably talk to 20 or 30 different people at least of your friends all on the mountain without having to reach for your phone and it comes with a little thing for your wrist you just touch a button on your wrist so you can activate all the different stuff that you want to utilize how cool is that anyway guys i love you guys thanks for supporting me for nine years i love it so much i love you so much and uh i will chat with you guys soon i'm gonna let you guys go i'll see you in a few hours peace out to everybody